up y'all it's your girl katie and welcome back to my channel so guys um <laughs> as you can see in front of me i have a ginormous amount of food and it's literally like breakfast time it's like 11 o'clock right now so you know it's gonna be a hefty breakfast hefty lunch here i am and in front of me i have jollibee so I myself have never eaten Jollibee before in my life. I've seen people eat it on mukbangs, I've seen it in ASMRs, but I have never had it. And I honestly did not know they even had a Jollibee in LA until like two days ago. So I went ahead, I explored the menu, I asked you guys what I should try, and I ended up getting basically everything on the menu. For what I got, let's just start off. I got the three-piece chicken joy with a side of mashed potatoes. I got... What is this? Hold on. The Palaboke Fiesta. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these, but that's what I have over here. Um, and then I've, of course, got this spaghetti that everyone says it is famous, and I need to try the spaghetti, and so she's there. I got the chicken, not the chicken, the two-piece burger steak with the adobe rice, and then I also got the Aloha burger, and I also got the pineapple drink and then i also got the alo alo which is kind of melted so i should probably try this first but i'm like this is my first time going to jollibee i need to get literally everything on the menu because i've never tried anything i'm super hungry probably not going to finish this all to in this video but today it will be gone so the first thing i want to try is the halo halo i have no idea what this consists of honestly and it's melting i do know there's shaved ice just don't know what else so let's take a scoop try to get like a little bit of everything before it completely melts there's some flan there's some ube ice cream some other ice cream and yeah mm. oh okay well maybe i should get everything everything Interesting, but I like it. I do like it. Mm. I say this is a pretty good dessert. I don't know if you're supposed to like mix. Oh, oh, yum! Oh, this is good. This is real good. And that was a bean, but I kind of dig it because it gives me like mochi vibes. Okay. All right, I also have this. This is the pineapple, I don't know, pineapple something. I think it's just pineapple juice is what it tastes like. But that's good. That's delicious, refreshing. They gave me a whole bunch of forks. I think they thought that I was feeding a family, and unfortunately, that's not the case. We're just going to go ahead and I guess try everything one by one and then just eat it all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for the chicken first because this is supposedly like amazing chicken and I'm excited. So let's dip it in some gravy. Oh, this is a whole pot of gravy we got going on. Okay. Well, let's let's just give it a go here. Okay. Hold on. We gotta resituate. Okay, okay. I will say this is amazing chicken. I will say it. It tastes pretty similar to like KFC to me. I don't know if it's supposed to or if it's supposed to be like superior, but it was really good. I'm gonna go around the block here. <laughs> this is the other noodle dish that I keep forgetting the name of, but we're just gonna give it a go because it looks really good. And it has a whole bunch of stuff on it. No idea what it is, but Wow, hold on. Mm. 
You guys, this is so good. It's kind of like rice noodles. Is it supposed to be like rice noodles? There's shrimp. There's an egg here. It looks like meat. I might be wrong. But this tastes real good. I don't know. These flavors are really hitting it for me. Mmm! Okay, so far, everything here is really good, and I'm really digging it. What's next? We got the burger steak with adobe rice. Oh! Oh! This rice, you guys, is so good with the gravy. This is amazing. Like, what fast food place has food like this? This is great. Who invented it? Okay, we're digging in. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Mmm. This itself kind of reminds me of like a beef stroganoff. The sauce, the mushrooms, everything with it kind of. But it's so good. Wow. Oh my God! There's jubes in this! Jubes? Yeah! So weird. There's everything in here. I just don't know what I'm gonna pull out. Oh my God. I think there's jubes in that. Have you guys know what jubes are? They're like coconut jelly. I think they go by different names like nacho de coco or whatever. So good, come on. <laughs> Like, will I finish this all today? I don't know. Let's go for the famous spaghetti, you guys, because everyone raves about the spaghetti. You know, I don't know. I don't know what's so special about it, but we're gonna give it a go. Well, okay, that sauce is immaculate. Like what, what is in that? You guys, this is amazing spaghetti and I've been craving spaghetti. So like maybe it's just hitting different, but like, That is so good. Okay, I can't get carried away. One more thing to try, and then we could just sit back and kind of relax and eat this. This, my friends, is the Aloha Burger. So this is, I think, just a regular burger, but it has pineapple in it. There she is. Oh, so I already know this is gonna be spectacular. Oh, wow. Hmm. You guys. Okay, I'm just, I'm just so amazed. At literally how good everything is. Like, why is it all so good? I'm feeling like so just powerful right now. I feel like I could just devour all of this. Probably getting carried away there. Is it sausage? Oh! I feel like in um every kind of talking video I've done so far, I've mentioned COVID. Things seem to be clearing up over here now. Or I mean quarantine, not like things in general, but I think retail stores are opening soon and just places are slowly opening back up. And I don't know when like life is ever gonna be normal again though, you know? 
I don't know. I've been thinking about this. It's like been going through my mind because, you know, will restaurants always serve full capacity now? Or are they going to have to cut their capacity in half so it's not as crowded? Concerts and festivals and stuff like that. I feel like that's going to happen so long from now. What about like movie theaters, you know? I mean, I can't even recall the last time I went to a movie theater in general, but. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to talk about things when food is this good. <laughs> oh my god. I have to discuss this. I have to. I don't know if any of you guys watch The Simpsons out there, but I think we need to discuss this theory. Someone, somewhere, somehow knows about the future. And you can't tell me I'm wrong. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Because there's no possible way they can predict so many things so accurately. You know? There just isn't a way. The Simpsons predicted COVID. They predicted the hornet bees being released after COVID. They predicted so much. I mean, they predicted 9-11. They've predicted Trump becoming president. It just gotten to the point where it's like something's, something's not right with this. I guess, you know, it's just a huge conspiracy theory. And they don't really predict the future, but come on, you know? There's so many coincidences. How how much more do you need for it not to be a coincidence anymore? It's just a sort of frame of mind that we've got that we think one year ahead. I predict people will make too much of our great predictions. Hmm. I don't know. I think they're trying to cover it up and someone has traveled to the future and they just know everything that happened. They said with the Trump one in 2000, we were looking for a funny celebrity who would be president. But it just so happens that he became president. You know? The Simpsons predicted Lady Gaga performing at the Super Bowl. It's just something's up. Tell me what you guys think about this because I'm genuinely curious. Do you think it's just like some big conspiracy? And it's just a huge coincidence and none of it's real. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. I just think it goes to a certain point, you know? It's just too much. I love this burger steak. I think it's like my favorite out of all of this. Because it tastes like beef stroganoff and like... Why am I blanking? Meatloaf. It literally tastes like meatloaf. <laughs> this is going to be an amazing dinner tonight. And this rice is superior. I've never had fast food rice that tastes like this. I don't know what what's going on in that kitchen, but... I'd like to find out. This was kind of like a lock straw for me. <laughs> I didn't even know if I should film this video, honestly, because I had bought so much food, like Postmated, so much food in like the past week and a half that it's not healthy for me. <sighs> Nor my bank account. It was just kind of like, you know, if I make this decision, am I just going to push myself further into this black hole that I've fallen into? Or am I just going to be like, okay, this is it, you know? I know I didn't have one of these back home, so it was kind of like, never would have dreamt of eating here. But, 
I don't know what I saw the other day or what I even thought of the other day. I was like, is there a Jolly Bee in the US? And then I found out that there was a Jolly Bee literally 20 minutes away from me. So I guess that's just luck. You guys, this is so good. Like I'm a little shook with how much I like this. If you like mochi, like red bean mochi, you would definitely like this because there's beans in it, but they're like sweet beans. And I really thought that this was gonna get like watered down after all the shaved ice melted, but I kind of like it better like this because all of the ice cream and everything melted into this. So it's kind of just become like a creamy slushy that has beans and jubes in it. <laughs> I'm so happy I got this now because everything is so savory and this is sweet yeah but it's not like this sweet you know so this just really helps balance it out it's so good let me see real quick Jolly Bee locations wait there's one in Virginia there's one in Virginia Beach what well Virginia Beach is actually very far from where I live so it wouldn't have mattered. So I guess they're only in the US and Canada. I might be wrong, but I'm scooping this. I'm just gonna have to eat like this now. Sorry guys. I think what it is with the sauce is it's like really sweet. But it really, I think it really helps out the flavor. And who would have ever thought about serving spaghetti at a fast food restaurant, like a drive-thru. Nobody thinks about that. So this is just a great creation. I feel like we need more fast food restaurants with variants like this. What is this crust on here? That's a pork rind. So I've discovered there's pork rinds on here. Just really a mixture of Heaven. I'm really impressed, actually. And obsessed. Impressed and obsessed. And full. <laughs> Obviously, this is a fair amount of food left. Um, but on the bright side, it's literally like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock right now. So I have plenty of time left in this day today to finish each and one of these dishes. Final review, the food was amazing. If you have a Jollibee near you, freaking go to it right now. This is my calling. This is what I need to invent. A another kind of dimension into the fast food world and just make something, make something good because this has really opened my eyes and it was amazing. And I am so happy with this. I'm so happy I ended up filming this video and going through with this. And at the end of the day, it was really, really yummy. I don't think I disliked anything I got. I honestly thought I was gonna hate this and I think it was my favorite thing. So surprise yourself, you know? Anyways guys, I can no longer stuff any more food inside of my body or it will literally explode. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe down below. And don't forget to press that notification bell to get notified every time I upload and to become part of the notification squad. Hashtag Rose Gang. So that is all for today. Thank you guys for joining me on this Jolly Bee Mukbang. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again.